Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com New Windows 10 build to look at. This is 18356 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. We're getting pretty close to the end of 1981 development and you can see there is no watermark down here on the bottom right. It just doesn't mean it's the final build, it just means we're getting close to the end of the build. And there's only a handful of known issues in this build as well, so making it possible it could be the, the final build. But like I said, I think they'll carry on a bit longer yet. The biggest change with this build it's not really part of the build but it works with this build is a change to your phone and I can't show you this um, because of the supported devices so with your phone this is your phone app you can see your pictures you can see your text messages from your Android or iPhone and with the latest build and the latest update of this app you can mirror your Android so you'll see the app the icon there and you'll see the you'll be able to mirror your Android phone and see exactly what's on the screen so if you get a message you can look on this app rather than get your phone out your pocket or your bag now the, the restrictions on this at the moment and I've got an article about this here you can see Microsoft's supported list is that you must have a PC that supports Bluetooth with low energy peripheral mode and I'm on a Surface Go at the moment and that does support it so that's good but then they're only supporting these um, for Android phones and I have a, a Pixel 2 XL which is not supported so I won't be able to see that. If you want to check yourself you can go into the uh, device manager and check whether you've got the low energy uh, mode on your um, on your device but if you've got a Surface Go and one of those Android phones then that will work for you. So it allows you to mirror your phone and see exactly what's going on. A good idea and it uses Bluetooth low energy so it shouldn't drain you, your battery. As soon as they expand that to more devices including the Pixel 2 XL I'll uh, capture some video of that as well. So what are the other changes with this build? Well actually rather uh, only a handful of them. They fix some issues with Microsoft Edge crashing when reading or interacting with combo boxes in PDFs. They fixed an issue with the nightlight not working correctly. They fixed an issue with the slider to adjust the nightlight strength, could mean that the nightlight got stuck on. Uh, they fixed another nightlight issue when it was on the transitioning. They fixed an issue with battery drain when the screen was on recent builds. They've um, they fixed an issue with the menu on the voice recorder and they fixed issue with some experiences with getting green screens with kernel screen violations. The known issues are down just to just to a few now. Long term viewers of these videos will know that these are all pretty sound for me pretty familiar. Launching games that use anti cheat software may trigger a bug check. So that's where you you go to play your game and uh, it's got the anti-cheat software on it and it will uh, crash your machine. Creative X5 cards don't work still. That's been going on for months. Realtek SD card reader's not working correctly. That's also been going on for months. In the last few builds they've been having issues with VMware uh, not being able to update Windows Insider builds. Um, so you have to use Hyper-V as an alternative. So if you're using VMware to do testing, you're, you're out of luck with that. Hopefully they can get these fixed soon. So those are only the, the known issues now. So if they can get those out, then uh, we're not far off release for this uh, 19H1 uh, development, which we'll probably call the Spring Update or the April 2019 Update. So you can watch more videos on our YouTube channel. I've got some videos of 20H1, so the development's going out next year. So uh, you can check those on our YouTube channel. You can follow me on Twitter at iStixon. Please subscribe if you like the videos. And I'll see you on the digitallifestyle.com.